Hey guys, it's Crystal here with Art It Out, and today is Make It Monday, Make Media Monday. It's just Monday. <laughs> and it's the day that I set out the challenges for um, anybody that would like to join in. Of course, you guys can always join in on any projects. If something I do inspires you, let me know. I would love to see what you do. Um, it's what it's about, you know, sharing ideas and... Um, inspiring each other and getting each other through things so if you are group or instagram you've seen this i did it for one of my heart days this month um just a couple days ago um, i loved it i did not do it on camera i didn't do any of my heart challenges on camera i don't think um i love the look on the black i love just the look of it it's like dreamy, whimsically, I just really yummy, fun look. Love it. So I was thinking about, um, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to share how I got this look with you guys. So it's more of a, um, try this out if you haven't before, or maybe you did but forgot. Try it again. Really easy. You don't need a lot of stuff, guys. And I'm going to show you how. Um, I'm trying to move my one journal over here out of the way. Um, excuse me, guys. Bentley. Bentley. Inside. What do we need to be? Quieter. Um, so, and do it on black. Um, I did try them out on white. Um, just playing around a little bit. Um, and that was just literally real quick. I didn't work with it a lot. You, you're you going to get some of it look, but it's going to look different, you know, because this is black. And um, I'm going to do a white one, but this week I, I challenge you to do it on black. If you do not have one with, like, the black paper, um, no biggie, black gesso works. And also black paint, um... It works. Um, I've actually seen this question around a lot pop on. I've seen it on other people's um, posts, like off videos or other groups. I've seen people ask this question a lot. Do I really need to buy black gesso? You know, black paint works. Um, and you know what? I did do that, and I did not like using black black paint at all. It just gunked up. You didn't get a great all-over black color. And I tried the different brands. Um, of course, the higher you go, it's better, but you're going to do that just by Jessa. So I actually did buy black. Mom, another black. Okay, buddy. Did go and buy some black Jesso. Um... <laughs> I went to buy it, and I actually got um, this, which is, it's modeling paste, and it's black modeling paste. Um, I did have black just, so I bought, like, a little, like, tiny trial size. I loved it. Um, and when I went to get some, um, this was actually clearance thing out, so I said, hey, you know, cheap, good money, you know. So, but if you only have paint, you know the great paint that I do like of is the Delusions black paint, the, um, the Delusions, right, right, these, the black one, I'm out, is how, yeah, I'm out, I gotta get me a new one, um, I still love that color, it's a great black, it covers, and you can treat it almost like, like it's been gesso, it is a good one, that or black gesso, that's, that's my preference, I've had too many problems with actually painting black paint, um, but if that's what you got, use it. I did it. I did it for a long time, guys. Um, black cardstock. You have some of that. That'll work. You just glue two together to give you maybe a little more thicker or clear gesso over it to help. You know. So let's let's do one of these. All right. All you're gonna need, guys, is like I said, it's really actually in my books. Ripping a little there is all i use is gesso regular old gesso um and some type of gel crown i used on this one the these that i just got excuse me guys at hobby lobby extremely 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 cheap it's one of those really cheap deals they had going on 
um, kind of like the inks were last year, it's these this year. Uh, <laughs> so I did, I think, use that. I didn't, don't think I used any other ones on this. And the writing was with a uh, gel. What the heck? Uh, what are these? <laughs> Guys, I'm still not all the way, all the way up to par. I don't think I ever will be, though. <laughs> So, but if you don't have the Malibu, I tried other types. Um, I tried um, gelatos. Here, let me get that piece of paper out. I actually tried them over here. Um, somewhere. I tried, this was the Malibu, and I put a thick in, and this one was this. So, it works great. And so, gelatos work. Um, any gel crown work, I'm going to be working with, um, Recollections, which was Michael's brand back when those were the ones I first bought because all the others were expensive. I did try the Distress Crown. It worked okay. Um, I would stick with more of the, the crowns, um, and that's what I'm going to be working on today. And gesso, and a, some type of brush. I think the rougher, the better. Um, for that scrudgy look, you know, you want it to, it's got paint on it already. Um, you get, see how you get like the brush strokes? So you want those stiff, bristly ones. Um, the really cheap ones is like I like to say. But I use these for a really long time, these type. Of course, and you get those brush strokes, so. I don't know if I'm going to use that one. That one's so big. My problem is I only have one small one right now of, um, like this. And it's one I'm trying, I keep for doing like my faces with. So I need to buy some more of those. All right, let's do this, guys. What are we going to do? Uh, otherwise, just do whatever you want. It's a very easy, um, <laughs> Let's start. Um, I thought about doing a girl, actually. Um, but I don't really. I want to go with some, maybe some uh, flowers. I need some. I, you guys know I've been having some real bad issues with some um, depression. So I really want to. I don't think this one will work very well, but we're going to try. Because it is so light. But the nice thing is when you bring in the white gesso. You're going to get. Man I'm horrible anymore. <sighs> Getting my stuff. You don't need a lot. The key is not a lot. You just want a little bit. On it. And you just start. You just brush it. And like I said. I don't know if this yellow is going to really work really well. We'll see. Um, I'm getting a little bit of color out of that. I mean. You put too much gesso in it there, you lose some of that. You lose that more dreamy like sense, I think. So. I am going just with playing. I have no clue besides playing, guys. I came into this just wanting to share with you this technique. Um, that was it. <laughs> and past that, I figured we'd figure it out, you know. Um, you're right up here, kind of going off. There we go. I guess going off the page a little bit. And you put the color, you put it down, guys. Put a good thick layer, uh, the better. And I've noticed, cause see, I don't, I haven't been playing with my gelatos very off much anymore. I've been trying to bring them out more and more. Um... Um, but I, I bring, you know, grab them for, like, highlight stuff, but some of mine are, uh, you know, these are, my products are reaching the three-year, four-year mark, um, on some of them, and, um, I've noticed they're not creamy, they're not like they used to be, that beautiful gliding, you know, because it is getting old. So you guys keep that in mind when you guys, you know, we hoard these uh, goodies. We buy and don't use. Um, 
mine's going around like the third year and they're really i'm sure any real artist <laughs> would probably get rid of them because you know they're they're pretty dry they you know they don't like i said they don't have their creaminess at all but but i pay money for them i worked hard to get each and every one um, I will use them one way or the other. Right now, I can still use them. I just, not real creaminess, so. You gotta take a little bit of the top off to get to that good creaminess, so. Use your stuff. It's Thank you, yeah, it is, so don't mess with it. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Alright, guys, I'm bringing in a little bit more. It looks like it's like blinding yeah. light on there. Um, I told you I have no idea what to do really guys. I'm like, yeah. So I'm just going to play. I'm not going to put no, I can't put no pressure on myself um, to do anything but. Um, so. Hmm, dang it, keep grabbing the edge of that, not me, probably should get something to put under it, there we go. Yeah, that's good, okay, and that is it, play around with it, have fun. Remember, less is more with your, uh, green, your uh, colors. So that, how that brings it out. Isn't that just so pretty? I just love it. Hmm. Take a little bit more. Bentley, get down here now. No, get down here. Bentley, come on. Go where I can see you. One. Come on. Oh. Good boy. Now you need to stay where I can see you. Kids, kids, kids. And actually I think the messier you kind of get with it. Um, and I did. I did a couple layers, guys, so don't think it's just one. You see, as these dries, I'll go in and I'll add a little more yellow over. I'm going to do one, some of, one or, you know, a couple layers. So. That'll work. Okay. That'll work. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh. You know, right now, because I'm not really in a talky mood or anything, but if I could ha play, you know, music while doing this, um, <laughs> when I'm not in the mood to talk, I would still, you know, do same pace, but I can't handle, I can't handle the silence like that, like it is, so, I, you two don't let you do that, so, send a bit, we need, looking like that, I thought that was going to look really kind of silly, but where, where it's going, I kind of like it, so, I 
I'm putting that putting that color on, guys. Put that color on. By all means, you can fast forward this puppy. Um, <laughs> Instead of, you know, uh, like it is. <laughs> so, yeah. Challenge you to work on a black this week and get those gel, some type of gel crown out with your gesso. Um, and, you know what, guys? If you don't have any gel crowns, you can do this actually. You can do a similar technique with acrylic paint. Just do a really light line of it and then use your gesso. It's not going to be the exact look, but it's another fun alternative. Bentley? It's going to be one of those days, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, trying to use up. These are older than the ones I just bought. So I'm, what I'm going to end up doing is getting these out of my box. And um, put them on my desk instead. For I can use these up since they're getting older. Um, I gotta say, these are actually, um, because I got these after, so yeah, well, those are still longer. No, chalk that up to never mind. <laughs> uh, I don't like to rinse, get them wet while I'm doing this process, but I don't want the blue turning the yellow green. I've already shown that I don't have... <laughs> A lot of this type. It's this type of bristles. Is, um, you know, but they're hard to find. You can only get them like in packet type of things. So. Yeah, no. As you say, I'm doing this very, just going with it, guys. Just going with it. Um, do whatever you guys want. Um, I actually believe, if I recall, um, of course I could be wrong, um, I believe that... Oh my god, I just lost my freaking train of thought again. Never mind. Tony. Oh, oh, oil pastels. Um, I've done something similar with too, but it just looks really. I don't know. I just really like the look of it. What do you make, buddy? Cool. Hmm. I might use these over here. <laughs> Stay away from those. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm just kind of going with it, guys. Come on. I don't know what I'm doing yet, so. <laughs> Go on with the good. I'm gonna do one at a time. That way, this doesn't dry out very 
fast because you don't do it. Okay, let it sit though. It's gonna dry and you're not gonna get as much. You got to work that color a little bit more. Um, really. Just gonna wipe this off really good over here. Hopefully, that'll be good enough. Yeah, you can see like the brush strokes in it. I just love that. I don't know why. Something's soothing me right now. <sighs> Which we're getting ready to, guys. End of February. Or we're almost done. This week we will end our heart art challenge. That was, I just love. It was so much fun. Um, then we will be. Um, starting our make our uh, March challenge, which is going to be a journal, and we're gonna it's March, so it's make a mark March. So we're gonna be making all kinds of marks, all art marks, all month long. So if you're wanting to maybe let go a little bit, if you have, um, it's all about just giving yourself. You're telling yourself it's okay. What what we were going to make, it's okay. It's just going to be cardboard. It's just going to be this. You're going to get your give your permission to just play and have fun. And that is what it's going to be about. So. Um, I do this all the time. I don't think in layers like, you know, I just go with it. So a lot of time I kind of have to go behind things to make them look like they're further in the background instead of like, you know, most people, they start lower and work their way up, you know? Not me. No way in hell. Let's do it the hard way. That's the only way I know how. You'd think. I would have learned by now. So, once again, we're just going to get us a titchy bitchy, titchy bitchy 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 a little bit and go. It'll go the long ways. The more whiter you make it, I think, the more you get um, that ghost-likey look. Dreamy, dreary, that thing. That's why I don't like doing it, because I got too white on that one. Too, too white. Oh. I am just... And this one might go in front here. We're going to go over this one. Well, you make a bunny. A flower. What color flower? Pretty. You have to show me when you're done. See how cool that's looking. I mean, I don't know. I think it's cool. Well, uh, maybe you're thinking I'm making like maybe a solar system or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I haven't really thought about it. So 
Sorry, we can't see much, guys. My arms in the way. I ain't got much to say because you, um, you know, anything I say is not probably going to be real pleasant. And I don't, that's not what this video is about. It's not about sharing my struggles, it's about sharing this challenge. Nothing my thing to really get that worked in. Hmm, okay, I'm gonna let that dry a second, and let's continue on. Ink. Nope, here's the other one. Oh, very cool, buddy. That's awesome, babe. Awesome, awesome. Not really working real great, is it? I want it to be... I don't know. I was thinking more like like stuff around it. Look, <laughs> it's not really really working. I don't know where I put the lattice. That goes. Yes, we can. We can make do. We can make. I don't like it, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to try to put some on here and maybe add a little to the color, you know, mix it on my brush maybe and I'll, oh yeah, there we go. Just a different way of putting it on. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
I'm just trying to make do with something that I ended up not liking. <laughs> I'm trying to make it where I like it, so. <sighs> Cool, buddy. Cool, cool, bub. Cool, cool. I said cool, cool, buddy. Cool, cool. Can I help you? Don't touch, Mommy. Stop. A paper clip. I don't want a paper. You don't need one. You had one earlier. I bought a big one. You, no, you're not getting another one. Because all you do is straighten them out and you put them in things. No. No. This? No. 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 Oh, Bentley. Okay. We need another. We need more of that green, I think. We're on the edge, yeah. Let him shimmer. Kind of underneath. I'm going over with just a smidge of white just to give it that where it doesn't stand so out. But I do want it to stand out. <laughs> so, it's just a barely, barely any, any. It's really horrible. Bentley, honey, what are you doing? Mm. Oh my goodness. Are we in? Are we in? Bentley's boo a yawn, so hey. <laughs> I like that for my base. I'm not done, but I am thinking down with there. I'm going to do some. Uh, I want to seal this, I think. Eh, no, I don't. Let's go ahead and do the splatters first. Okay, so actually, yeah, I yeah, am. Because of this, um, it's got the just one, so I should be able to write on it. Um, just be forewarned if you do leave any that hasn't been like mix with gesso and you try to write with it it's, it's you're gonna you know ick up your pens and stuff so keep that in mind um i'm actually gonna use if i can find it which is missing there it is is my white oh, i gotta get me a new one because i'm like almost out Deller Rowney fw ink white i love it works it's the bomb dot com so. I guess I am kind of going with maybe some type of a I guess it could be a uh, could be a uh, galaxy type of thing when I'm done with it I think that's where it's going um, not always does it do that though sometimes it's you know just abstracty Whatever you think it is. 
You know what I think it is? It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's like a nebula thing over there, really. You barely touch it. it. Gives it that swooshy, swoopy, whoopy feeling. That swooshy, whooshy, whoopy feeling. All right, I'm gonna dry this up really good, and uh, yeah, I'll be back literally in a second for you guys. But for me, it's probably gonna be. Okay, guys, um, as you see, I did do some journaling around. I like it the way it is. When I am doing my art, something will pop in my head. Ooh, I want to do that, I want to do that. Well, after the last time, I was like, ugh, no, besides that, I'm happy. So I stopped. Don't push yourself. If, um, if you think it's, don't push yourself. If you feel like you're done with the page, be done with it. You can always come back. Um, but I like it. I just did a little bit journaling. There you go, guys. I can't wait to see, you know, challenge yourself either to use black, do both, use black, and do this technique. Have fun, happiness to you. Go make a mess and art it out, guys. Bye!